Hey guys, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Electro Ninja's Lab. In today's video, we are once again talking about the Native American Miraculouses. Specifically today, we are going to be talking about the Wolf Miraculous. As well as, we are also going to be talking a little bit about another Miraculous, but we don't actually have the full information yet. So, what exactly am I talking about? So, the Wolf Miraculous is an interesting Miraculous to think about, because of the fact that the Wolf Miraculous most likely will have something to do with the idea of packs, because that is something that we often think about when we think about wolves. There's always the Wolf Pack and stuff like that. And what I'm imagining for the Wolf Pack ability is that it summons forth allies. Which, we haven't ever seen something like that, except for the idea of the Sapodes, but that is a cloning technique, so it's not necessarily the same thing. But, what else is important about this Miraculous? Well, quite simply, it's going to be using a weapon of claws, because there's really nothing else that wolves use except for their teeth, and we aren't going to see anything like that for the uh, for a wolf miraculous or really any of these miraculous we're not going to see somebody using their teeth to fight most likely hopefully but yeah basically these miraculouses are really hard to necessarily narrow down what their powers are going to be but considering the fact that the idea of this is to summon forth allies who better to have the Miraculous of the Wolf than Manon. Manon's powers as Puppeteer, and since she's only ever been Puppeteer, means that she will be gaining these abilities no matter what. The, the, this is probably the most likely thing for her, because of the fact that her main power is to summon forth allies, or to take control of somebody. So, yeah. She's definitely one of the best Miraculouses that we've ever seen. So, does this necessarily mean that she's going to be getting this Miraculous? I'm not 100% certain. The other person that could possibly get this Miraculous is Chris, because of the fact that he was able to make his toys come to life. But I'm less inclined to give him this power due to the fact that Chris has actually had two times where he's been akumatized, and the other time was more time travel based, or paint based. I know that there's not really anything that we would think, oh, yeah, that's definitely something that is going to be paint based, or time-based, because there really aren't that many Miraculouses that are time-based. And we specifically say, well, we've specifically been told that Alex is the last resort. No one else. There's not meant to be any other time travelers. So the idea of there being a second time travel Miraculous does seem a bit worrisome. Basically, this would be the second to last, uh, this would be another last resort, and would have to be someone that is extremely careful. And who better to get that miraculous than someone who has time traveled before? And that, of course, is Chris. However, Chris, of course, was an adult during this thing, or teenager, so the idea of him actually getting this miraculous isn't necessarily going to be set in stone. And no matter which Miraculous that we give him, it's definitely something that's challenging, and it doesn't really seem like something that we would see in any of the Zodiac Miraculouses. Of course, we didn't really think of the Bunny Miraculous as being time travel, so perhaps it will be something that is similar to the Bunny, maybe something faster, say a Mongoose, or something else similar, something that travels a lot, like a goose. 
these two miraculouses could be the possibility, but I'm less inclined to say that they are, mostly due to the fact that these two miraculouses really aren't the best. And the thing is that there is no mongoose miraculous either. There's an otter miraculous, but the idea of a mongoose miraculous would actually make a lot of sense considering the fact that they will hunt down several animals. And they are, while they're not necessarily directly related to America, they do have something similar to America, but not exactly. So figuring out exactly what it is is definitely going to be a challenge to say the least, but definitely something to at least be thinking about in the future. So yeah, I don't know. I I think that none of the uh, of these. 12 miraculouses for the Native Americans, as well as the miraculouses for the Greeks, I'm I'm not certain if what exactly could be Chris's miraculous, but it's definitely something that I want to know what you guys' thoughts are. Do you guys think that Chris will be getting one of the miraculouses that we've already mentioned, or do you think that there's going to be another one that is animal-based, like how the rest of the Native American miraculouses are, or do you think that we're going to be getting something a bit more like a Greek god, like how we will be getting the Greek miraculouses? Definitely something that I want to hear your thoughts on. But anyways, guys, now that we know what Miraculous Manoa is going to be getting, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, let me know your thoughts, down, uh, thoughts and theories down in the comments below. And also, if you guys are new, please subscribe and ring that notification bell and tell your friends about this channel, because we do a lot of content like this. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, I have been Electro Ninja, and I will see you guys next time. But on.